Hi, I'm Erin Brown with Homeschool Connections, and we're here today with Dr. Peggy Morrow. Peggy, good to have you here. Thank you, Erin. And I'd love for you to tell us about the courses that you teach here at Homeschool Connections. I teach middle and high school students, both live and recorded. I teach computer science, math, and business. Quite a few subjects. How many courses are there all total? About? This semester, I'm teaching six, which <laughs> seems like a lot. <laughs> six live, and then you also have the recorded courses, right? I have several in recording now. I think um, of all the ones I'm teaching, there's two more that are recorded. Mm. So parents can access your courses, students can access your courses in unlimited access and through the live catalog in the live signups. So that's pretty fun. Tell us about these subjects. What are the courses in particular? So um, the biggest amount of students take my Intro to Computer Science and mm. AP Computer Science courses. And in those classes, the intro and then the first AP, AP Principles, students get kind of a smorgasbord of computer science topics and get introduced to computer science so that they can decide if it's for them. <laughs> um, I also, because it's middle through high school, um, I offer a vi variety of levels of tools and concepts in the classes. So the kind students can kind of figure out where they fall and and figure out how to challenge themselves. Okay. Not help them with that. So if I'm a middle school student and I come in and or, or I'm an advanced high school student, you have different levels within the classroom for those students. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So matches perfectly to what your student needs. Yeah. Um, because um, if you think about the people that you know that have computer skills, mm -hmm. they're all over the board. Yeah. <laughs> true. This is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these are critical skills, I would think. But then, as you said, if you want to kind of delve into that area and figure out, is this something I want to do more of in the future? It's a good way to find out. Yes. And then I offer another advanced AP class, which mm -hmm. is still maybe first semester, maybe second semester college, um, where students can learn the Java programming language mm. and um, be ready fo to focus exclusively on that field. You know, I don't know of very many. Are there many programs online like this for high school students, in particular for Catholic high school students? There aren't either many online or in, in person, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even at the Catholic college level, I my youngest son was homeschooled his last two years of high school. Mm -hmm. And um, even at the Newman Guide Colleges, <laughs> you, you, you're, there's a real deficit of computer science and engineering. Wow. It's starting to grow, um, so that's great. Um, so hopefully we can feed in. I actually have a student this semester that's um, helping me with uh, one of the AP classes, and he is in an engineering program at a good faithful Catholic college. Awesome. Awesome. So this could really give your student a leg up in the computer sciences, taking these courses, getting ahead. It's, it's a real benefit. It is a real benefit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and then just to understand, even if they decide after the intro class, this is not for me, <laughs> you know? which is fine. Now that's the right. goal. Right. Yeah. right. Um, right. It, at least they'll have some exposure. They'll have the language mm. um, so they at least can verbalize. Foundation. I know that I need to get a network security package for my home cable modem. Right, <laughs> you know, right. So they can verbalize that. That's right, that's right, that's awesome. Tell me more about, you have other courses too, right? I do, so I also teach a class called Financial Algebra, which um, is for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. And it teaches them some really practical skills. Mm. We learn how to play the stock market with play money, a hundred thousand right. dollars oh my goodness. of play money based on the real actual 
How stock you? market and and it's nice goings on yeah we go yeah. for 10 weeks in that simulation so that if they eventually get a 401k package mm -hmm. right? right or or want to invest themselves they'll understand what's going on and and they will have it already experienced the the learning curve yeah right, right. Um, so that's a big thing then they also learn how to shop for car insurance a bank mm -hmm. credit cards and all those other practical things. So critical that skills. Yeah, critical skills. And wow. that's actually how I test. Shop for a bank and give me the analysis based on the math you've learned of how to compare interest rates and um, do they offer other services like giving yeah. you your credit scores, et cetera. Right. You know, I'm I'm realizing that the courses you teach are literacy courses in their cultural literacy, their financial literacy, their um, computer literacy, right? These are all must-haves in today's society. Yes, those are pretty foundational. Yeah, yeah, yeah those those skills. Well, tell me about your real life, daily life, and how that feeds into. Where did you come from and how, why, what do you bring to these courses in your background? Okay, so I'm a Catholic and um, in, through that, I'm also uh, in the Junipero, St. Junipero Serra Club here in where I live in Colorado. And um, so I am their tech guru. I, you by default, <laughs> when you have this skill set, you become the tech person. Mm -hmm. I help out a lot at my church. Right now I'm the RE director just for this year because we're online, right, mm -hmm. for part of it. Yeah. And so they tapped into those skills for me for just a short period. Right. Um, right. Yeah. And um let me see. I was a software engineer for 20 years. So you're I, a doctor. I see that, right? I, yes. Is yes. that software engineering then? You know, I actually did a hybrid of using my computer science skills with um, policy. So um, I did, yeah. So I, I have a, also a background in economics because <laughs> just awesome. for that, that it was a second master's program, mm -hmm. you know, to get the PhD. And yeah, so I have a big um, econometric modeling. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You bring all, see now I would definitely, if I had kids, my kids are growing gone, but if I still had kids in high school, they would desperately need your courses because it is not my forte. And I know there are other parents watching today who they're going, that's not my forte. <laughs> so that's why we appreciate you. Uh, well, you know, one of the biggest things I learned in the PhD program, I had a, yeah. was, God gave me just a wonderful advisor. Mm -hmm. And I called him up frustrated one day. And he said, well, Peggy, you just may learn something new every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> I, I think the most important thing I learned. Mm -hmm. And so I, the, I bring that into my classroom mm -hmm. because I, I ask the students, if you know something about this that I don't know, please speak up. <laughs> because with software, especially, it's right. web based, it changes right. overnight on you. And all right. of a sudden, there's, you know, 10 new buttons and things for you to press. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I embrace that. And um, and that that helps set up a, a better culture of learning. That's right, absolutely. And if people watching today want to get details about all the classes you teach middle and high school, I know they can find those details in the catalog at the website homeschoolconnections.com or homeschoolconnectionsonline.com. There on the very front page is an, a link to the catalog. I know recorded courses, right? Recorded and live and um, but if they wanted to reach out to you personally, do you have an email or would you like them to contact you through homeschool connections at gmail.com? What's the best way to reach you? I, so my husband works in computer security. <laughs> and, um, he's in the process of trying out some new emails that are more secure. And so I'm probably going to change my email here recently okay. in the near future. So it'd probably be better to contact homeschool connections and then they'll get a hold of me. And yeah. I would love to hear from you with questions. 
Absolutely. Homeschoolconnections at gmail.com. Ask for Dr. Peggy Morrow and they'll connect you right up and you guys can communicate and get all of your questions answered. It's been fabulous to get to know you a little bit more and to hear about your courses. And again, for those watching, there are more courses as well. If you're interested in this financial literacy and um, computer literacy and all of these areas that help build your student, help them prepare for the future, please do look up these courses, see what's inside. Every week is scheduled out right in the catalog. It shows week by week what's covered so you can see what's in the courses or reach out to Dr. Morrow to find out more. Thank you, Peggy, for being here. I appreciate you taking the time. All right.